Hello YouTube family and welcome to another episode of This and That. And yes it is your boy Rosie, your soon to be number one YouTube host. As you can see, today we're in my element, we're outside. I'm an aircraft mechanic by trade, uh, an industrial engineer. Uh, my dad was an auto mechanic. We like, well, we don't like it, but we break stuff. And, uh, but we like fixing it. For probably the fourth or fifth time, I bit my lawnmower deck. I have an old snapper lawnmower. It's a single blade unit. Uh, it doesn't have those three blades like your big 54 inch uh, 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 John Deere, like I used to have. And uh, I went with the simple one. But this is a hard metal, but if you hit a root or a stump, and I have a lot of pine trees and oak trees, Oftentimes I hit a root or something and by trying to mow the lawn low so I don't have to mow every five days I wind up hitting the root from time to time. Well, I hit a root and I bent my deck. Normally I try using a large pair of vice grips or pliers or something of this nature to try to bend it back into place But I can't bend it far enough and I wind up uh, hitting the root bending it again. I went to my local sling shop uh, it's called Lake Charles Sling, and uh, what they sell is things to push and pull, like chains and things of that nature. And I bought this clevis. This clevis is a one-part unit. It's about 18 inches in length, and when you spread it out, it spreads out to about 30 inches. It's a 36-inch deck in circumference, but it's only about 30 inches up and down. So what I did was we wedged this in, and what we could do is we take a wrench. I take an adjustable wrench, I hold this in place, and as you turn it, counterclockwise on this one, as you turn it, and I'm turning this one counterclockwise, it spreads. And so since I have it wedged in between the deck, it's going to try to wedge the weakest point and spread it out. Therefore, I get my clearance and the lawnmower, and I can get back to mowing. Once again, this clevis from your local sling shop, about 15 bucks. You can reuse it time and time again. My son-in-law's lawnmower breaks or have the same problem. I take this $15 clevis, go through the same process, about 10 minutes. And if the snapper is built to stand up vertically like this, all lawnmowers are. So if they're not, you put it up on a couple of two by fours or whatever, give yourself enough room to get underneath the deck. And you can do the same thing as long as you got enough clearance, probably eight, 10 inches to turn your wrench. So, instead of taking this thing to your local lawnmower repair shop, spending 50, 60 bucks for him to take a welding machine or a torch, heat this up and try to bend it, this simple fix. Make sure your hands are clear of anything dangerous. I most likely I would wear gloves. I don't, but pull out your winter glove. Since I'm supposed to be a mechanic, I'm not wearing gloves. Look at that, she's spreading right out. Oh yeah, it's working better than expected. Look at that, look at that clearance. I started out with about three quarters of an inch clearance. Right now I'm looking at about an inch and a half. I'm gonna take it a little bit further. You know folks, we always go further than we need to. My dad used to say, leave well enough alone. But uh, I'm not built like that. Dust, motorcycle scars, uh -huh. scars of all kinds. Because I never leave well enough alone. And if I hurt myself, we'd make a hell of a YouTube video. I forget, I'll probably get a whole lot of hits, but that's not what we're here for. There, there you have it, look at that. Plenty of clearance. I'm about to run out of threads here, so I'm gonna stop. But I hope this helps someone. No matter what kind of lawnmower you have, whether it be a ride lawnmower, push lawnmower, small lawnmower, big lawnmower. They make bigger clevises for those big three blade John Deere's. So if that's what you have a problem with when it comes to this type of bend. If it's bent this way, you gotta do something else. But if it's bent uh, vertically, we'll say in this uh, uh, situation, this will be a quick fix for you. I hope this helps someone. Once again, this is your boy Rosie. From us here at This and That, y'all have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because we got videos coming at you hot and heavy. Peace.